Lorraine, I told you, you can't come here anymore. I know all about it. Open up. Hello, I told you to back off. What are you doing here? What? It's in the neighborhood. Thought I'd drop by for a visit. <sighs> People do. You know, I mean, normal people. You know. If AJ or Tony sees you, they're going to start asking questions. Now, please, just leave. Look, you've got one baby, two possible daddies, and a different due date for each one. You have convinced yourself that marrying your knight and shining surgical scrubs will make that all go away, but it won't. Now, do you want to hear a solution, or would you rather watch your life circle clockwise down the drain? I have heard your solutions, Lorraine. I'm not going to jeopardize my child by inducing early labor. Have you come up with a better idea? I've already told you. I don't need any more lies. Oh, right. You and the Quartermain are back on speaking terms, which in your twisted head means you can tell him anything you want. AJ, trust me again, okay? We have reconnected, and that is what's going to save me. Sister Margaret? Yes? Uh, I'm John Tennyson. We spoke on the phone yesterday. Oh, yes, of course. Please, sit down. How can I help you, Mr. Tennyson? Well, <clears throat> my wife and I uh, had a sonogram done a couple weeks ago. And I have a question about that, and I was, uh, I was hoping you could help me out. Well, I'll certainly do my best. Was everything satisfactory in the way you were treated? Oh, yes, yes. Your staff was, uh, was very helpful. And the procedure itself? The sonogram went fine. Dr. Uh, Omansky had an had an uh, emergency, so the nurse followed through and gave us all the particulars, the uh, due date and so on. Mm -hmm. And still you have questions? Not just a question. I got a problem. <laughs>